Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and I had such a good time doing my viewer requested sort of guided tour of the very first Friday the 13th box set, the From Crystal Lake to Manhattan DVD set, that I was really happy to see that I had several people request that I do the same thing with the very first Nightmare on Elm Street DVD box set, which I just happened to have right here so in just a moment i will be giving you guys a guided tour of this entire box set and all the accoutrements that come with it and do kind of a walk down memory lane talking about uh, this set now this dvd set came out in 1999 i don't know off the top of my head if this set came out before the friday the 13th dvd set or vice versa Either way, in 1999, I was a very poor college student. And much like the Friday the 13th set, I could not just go and drop 40, 50, maybe more dollars on this set at my local Sam Goody because that was the only place nearby me where I could go and buy things like this Nightmare on Elm Street uh, New Line Platinum Series box set. But I do recall that the horror movie community at the time uh, seemed very, very pleased by this box set. So I was very eager to get my hands on it, and a few years later I was able to, and I have to say, this is a really, really darn nice DVD box set. This box set, this DVD box set that came out in 1999, is infinitely, infinitely, if there's anything above infinitely, this box set is infinitely times infinity better than the blu-ray set for the films that we got just a few years ago and don't even get me started on that blu-ray set this blu-ray set the nightmare on elm street collection is really an insult to the fans if you just want to know my opinion this dvd set is so 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 much better now right off the bat you guys know i love a box set where each movie gets its own individual case no um you know two movies to one case or two movies to one disc i hate that in these kinds of box sets here we have the original nightmare on elm street all the way to wes craven's new nightmare we get a bonus disc we get a booklet and we get 3d glasses because you just gotta have those 3D glasses to truly enjoy Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. But here too, all the discs on the spine, when you put them together inside the box, you have Freddy there from Wes Craven's New Nightmare. So right off the bat, just the fact that each movie has its own case. No two movies to one case, no two movies to one disc. That is, of course, a big plus for me. Now, let me take out all the movies, all the discs there. The box set, now this box has been around. <laughs> I've had this set for many, many years. Um, and it's not in the greatest shape now, but it's still, it was made of some pretty firm um, cardboard. So even though it's taken a beating, it's still in pretty good shape, I do have to say. Um, but here you've got Freddy on both sides. You've got the original Freddy there and it's uh it's embossed so you can sort of uh it's raised freddy is raised so freddy feels good to touch feels good to touch freddy here we've got freddy from Wes craven's new nightmare he of course is also embossed raised so it feels good to feel freddy here on the spine we have all the movies included listed there on the top we've just got that on the bottom we've got the credits New Line Cinema, etc., etc. And yes, it was released in 1999. So that is the box. As for the movies themselves, as for the cases themselves, now granted, these are the old flipper cases. And I know everybody hates the flipper cases when it comes to um, DVD releases, these old cardboard flipper cases. Uh, and I hate them too. Um, but I assume that the reason why they did this for this set was to cut down on the cost. Still, it's the flipper cases, but 
at least each movie has got its own case. So this is part one, and we've got some sort of an alteration on the classic poster design and the, uh, the old VHS box cover art for the original Nightmare on Elm Street. There is the back of it with the plot synopsis, no photos, nothing like that. Um, but yeah, pretty simple. Inside here, we've got all the chapters, we've got all the special features. And um, there's some pretty nice special features on here. We got a commentary, cast and crew biographies, jump to a nightmare. We've got some DVD ROM content. That's definitely going way back when you've got um, some DVD ROM content. Um, so yeah, not bad at all for the very first Nightmare on Elm Street. Let's take a look at Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. I do believe that is the original poster art design for the film. Again, just the plot synopsis there on the back, no photos. Inside here we have got the chapter index as well as the extras. As far as the extras are concerned, we've got cast and crew biographies, Jump to a Nightmare. So not a lot on um, the part two disc as far as extras, although we do have that DVD ROM content. Here is part three, The Dream Warriors. The back. Open it up here, we've got the chapter index, special features, and of course the disc. As far as extras here, we've got, yeah, about the same, um, not a whole lot here. Casting crew, biographies, widescreen presentation, some DVD-ROM content. That is about that. Part four, the Dream Warriors, the back, inside, the disc. Again, not a lot of extras, more DVD-ROM content. I should put these in the, uh, put these in my computer and see what the, uh, Check on that DVD-ROM content. Here's part five, The Dream Child. Ah, the flipper cases. <laughs> the good old flipper cases. Um, here, same thing, same extra, same DVD-ROM content, not a whole lot. Ah, oh, these flipper cases, man. Uh, these flipper cases bring back a lot of memories. Of course, you just do not see these, and I pray to God that they don't adopt the flipper cases when it comes to Blu-ray releases. Don't even think about it. DVD companies, or I'm sorry, Blu-ray companies, don't even think about adopting the flipper case design for future Blu-ray releases. Please don't. Here we've got Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, and the uh, 3D glasses that go along with it. This is Nightmare on Elm Street there on the, on the side of them pop these on this side towards face use only for viewing 3d not for sunglasses or any other use thank you new line for pointing that out so that we know what these 3d glasses are used for phrase dead final nightmare the back chapter index special features the disc um pretty much exactly everything uh Yep, pretty much the same stuff on all the other discs. Here we go. Wes Craven's New Nightmare. The back. Chapter index, special features, the disc. On here, looks like we might have um, commentary with writer-director Wes Craven. Nice, that's the only real difference between the this disc and the others is we have a commentary, but we've got DVD-ROM content and the same Jump to a Nightmare, uh, scene navigation, widescreen presentation, yada, yada, yada. Another thing I hated about these flipper cases is just closing them and trying to get them back together. Just such a such a pain in the butt. Let me take these off before I throw up. All right. <clears throat> then we have got um, the Nightmare Series Encyclopedia. Now this disc of bonus content, this thing is absolutely loaded. This, <laughs> there is so much content on this disc. And the way that they sort of make the menus um, navigatable was really interesting, I thought, because you're kind of picking 
your own path around the menu screen and you're not entirely sure what special feature or what extra you're gonna get it's 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 almost like um i don't know it's 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 really interesting it's it's a really cool way to do the uh, menu navigation for uh, a DVD title, and I've not seen any other title or any other release that's done its menu quite like this uh, extras disc for the Nightmare on Elm Street um, DVD box set. Now, but this is just a great disc. Lots of extra content on here, lots of interviews. Again, I love the way that the menu is navigatable. Uh, it includes Welcome to Primetime, a documentary exploring the nightmares, a prelude to the labyrinth. Then we have the labyrinth. Weave through the interactive environment and unlock the mysteries of the franchise. That's what I was discussing as far as navigating the menu. We have the Nightmare Series Encyclopedia, <laughs> Encyclopedia Index, an unabridged clickable listing of the disc's contents and we've got DVD ROM content as well. We've got an interactive Freddy character that will haunt your computer from Toggle This. Interactive Freddy character. I may have to pop this in the old computer and um, check on that interactive um, Freddy character. But this bonus disc is awesome. Absolutely awesome. So much great content on this bonus disc. And again, I love the whole labyrinth thing very ingenious very nice extra bonus disc for the nightmare on elm street dvd set then we've got a very nice booklet that comes along with it as well very thick booklet very detailed booklet they break down pretty much every single nightmare film um let's see here is the first nightmare on elm street there We've got little write-ups about each film. We've got little pieces of trivia about each film as well. There's part two. It's really nice. Got a lot of nice images in here. Um, part three. But um, yeah, just a lot of just a lot of content in this set. I have to say, a lot of very nice content. Um, Freddy fact, talking Freddy Krueger dolls were pulled from the marketplace because they scared children. Snowflakes. Snowflakes. Freddy fact, in college, Wes Craven wrote a thesis on dreams and kept a diary of his dreams, many of which were recreated and featured in his early films. Nice. And we have all the way here to Freddy's dad, or I'm sorry, Wes Craven's new nightmare. But, um... Yeah, very nice booklet. Here we go. The most popular cinematic maniac since Darth Vader, says Newsweek. Nice. Just a lot. And, and we've got the instructions for the DVD-ROM use there. A lot of instructions for that DVD-ROM use. But, um, yeah. Let's see. A anything about the interactive little Freddy... Uh, uh, here it is. Okay, animated Freddy. Download the interactive Freddy character to your desktop. Three subsequent episodes will be emailed out once signed up, and episodes can be emailed to friends or enemies as well. wonder if I sign up for that, if I'll still get those. I doubt it, but it would be very cool if you did. And, oh, then we've got the, the pouch with the 3D glasses, which, let's see, it came with two, two sets of 3D glasses. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so if you must know, this is the Blu-ray set for the films. Now, you just saw the DVD set that came out in, in 1999. This is the Blu-ray set that came out. When did this come out? Uh, oh, who cares? Who cares? Um, this is it. This is the whole thing. Um, this, is, this is it. And... This is it. And we've got the discs like so. And uh, not really Elm Street, the first one has its own disc and then they start breaking them up. You've got two and three together, four and five together. Um, then you've got uh, 
Freddy's Dead and Wes Craven's New Nightmare, and then you've got the bonus disc, which is all new, Fear Himself, The Life and Crimes of Freddy Krueger, which I don't remember being anywhere near as good as the bonus disc from the DVD set. But, I mean, look at what a what a downgrade this Blu-ray set is from the DVD set that probably came out a decade before it. And this thing, you, I think I, the only reason why I bought this thing was because it was on Amazon listed for like 15 bucks or 20 bucks one day. And I was like, what the hey, I'll just buy it. And it's just so bland and just such a, uh, such a kind of insult. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, I guess at least it comes with a slip case kind of dilly, but oh my goodness. I mean, this is the Nightmare on Elm Street series. This is one of, if not the most popular horror franchises from the 80s, and this is its Blu-ray set. I mean, my goodness, what a just, ugh, mm. This box set, in my opinion, is the definitive way to own the Nightmare on Elm Street set. Now, granted, each movie comes in a flipper case, but each movie has its own case. One movie per case, one movie per disc, as it should be in a box set. You have the bonus disc that is absolutely loaded. Great content on their content that you cannot find anywhere else as far as I know in any other Nightmare on Elm Street set. And I love the labyrinth uh, menu navigation, the way that they have that set up. Now, I know that there was another DVD set um, for the Nightmare on Elm Street series put out. Um, I don't own it if, unless I'm mistaken, I do think that uh, either they double up with two movies on one disc or two movies per case um, on that set. I, I don't know. I don't own it. I've only seen it on the shelves and I've noticed that it looks very thin. So typically when you have a set put together like that and it looks very thin, that's what you get. But this DVD set again came out in 1999. That is the Blu-ray set. That is an insult to the fans. This is what the fans deserve as far as I'm concerned. Again, it's a crying shame that Nightmare on Elm Street, that the best box set for Nightmare on Elm Street came out back in 1999, and it's a DVD set. This series deserves a much better Blu-ray box set. It deserves a Blu-ray box set um, like the Halloween set got a couple of years ago. That is the kind of set Nightmare on Elm Street deserves. So, Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this um, guided tour of the Nightmare on Elm Street Platinum Edition, a uh, Platinum Series, excuse me, DVD box set from New Line. If you liked the video, please leave it a thumbs up if you're not following me on social media. Those links are in the description. They're also right around here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.